Hello YouTube and welcome to your fourth Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be covering methods so what a method is is pretty much it's several instructions that you've wrapped up into one keyword so let's say you have your um, your main method and outside of your main method you've uh, you've created like a method called brush my teeth a method called get my clothes on so all you have to do is just inside of your main method type in brush my teeth and then it'll do everything inside of that method so you don't have to write it all out again each time you want to each time you want to use it so um, you can see I've already created an empty project go ahead and right click on source files add new item C++ file file and then I'll just type YouTube methods add and now we're ready to start the code so as always we're gonna pound include IO stream we're gonna pound include conio dot h and then using namespace standard now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna create our main method and now what we're gonna do inside of our main method we're just gonna type addition empty parentheses semicolon so basically what we've done here is we've called the method addition now it, you can see it has a squiggly red line under it because we haven't created a method called addition yet but we're going to so to declare that you're gonna be making a method go ahead and um, after using namespace std just type int addition empty parentheses semicolon so that it says okay I'm making a method called addition and uh, I'm telling you up here so now we're gonna type all of our code inside of our addition method so it's just like making the main method except we're using an integer uh, instead of void so let's go ahead here come up here forgot some let's type get get characters so that the program won't run through and then close before we can see what happened so now we have int addition so what we want to do is we want to declare a variable num1 declare a variable num2 and declare another variable answer now let's go ahead and set num1 to something like 435 uh, num2 is equal to 100 okay so now that we have the value set for num1 and num2 and then we've declared a variable answer we're gonna go ahead and type answer equals num1 plus num2 now you should know you should know this from my previous tutorials then we're gonna come down here and just type return 0 so that we let the program know that everything went okay and if it returns anything other than 0 like a letter or one or two or something like that then something went wrong and there's an error so now you can see we have we have declared our addition method and we've called that inside of our main method and the reason we've done this is because when the program starts it always looks for the main method and runs it straight from there so if it goes to the main method and it sees the first thing in there is calls the method addition that we created then it's just gonna run every it's gonna run all this code as if this code was just right up here but instead of having to type that out each time we want to use it all we have to do is type addition so now when I run it you can see that we get problems yay let's see what went wrong okay um oh yeah that's the problem we have to see out answer now when we run it 535 so you can see that 435 plus 100 e is equal to 535 so um this is probably one of the most useful tutorials I know it's really simple but it's going to be one of the most useful things that you're going to use when creating your programs because it'll save you a lot of time um, if you don't want to retype everything each time you want to use that code just put it into a method and um, you can use it from there. 
So um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.